Hi everybody, welcome to Live Blogger. In the previous video, we started designing this responsive homepage from scratch using HTML, CSS and JavaScript. And in the previous video, we wrote the HTML of this design and uh, this is how it looks. We can see that all the elements are displayed over here. Now in this video, we will start with the styling of this design. So let's get started. <laughs> Right here is our code. This is the HTML and uh, we have completed the HTML and we have already linked our CSS file over here. So let's start with the CSS. So let's go to the style.css file and first of all we will add some resetting styles. So I'll just select all the elements. So I'll just type asterisk and uh, for all the elements I'll just add a style of box sizing, border box. Now what this line of code does is that it will include the padding in uh, the height and the width of the element. So when we add a height and a width to an element, it will have the correct height and width. Right now the next thing we will do is uh, we will reset all the margins from the body. So I'll just type body and I'll just type margin zero. So this will reset all the margins. Now the next thing we will do is we will hide all the elements of the mobile version. So this uh, is the desktop version and if I decrease the width of the screen, we can see that this is the mobile version and in the mobile version we have this menu icon. And we also have this close icon and also these menu items over here. So we need to hide all of these from the desktop version. So if you go back to our design and if you scroll down, here we can see this is the menu icon. So we need to hide this in the desktop version. And we also need to hide this close button and also these mobile menu items. So let's do that. Let's go back to our source code and uh, let's go to the HTML file. And if you scroll down here, we can see that inside the main container division, we have this nav and in the nav we have this menu button division so we need to hide this so here i'll just type hidden items i'll just add this uh, comment over here and let's type main container nav and uh, we have the class of menu button and here i'll just type display of none and now let's go back to our design and now we can see that the menu button is not being displayed over here let's also hide this close button and also these menu items so if you go back to our html we can see that if you scroll down we have this division with the class of menu items and before that we have this division with the class of mobile menu items so in that we have the close button and also these menu items so let's hide this mobile menu items division so let's go back to our style.css file and uh, here i'll just add a comma and let's type mobile menu items all right now let's go back to our design and here we can see all the mobile elements are hidden all right now let's start with the styling of this desktop version the first thing we will do is uh, we will style the video so if you go back to our index.html file here we can see we have this video element inside the main container so let's select this so here i'll just type main container video and we'll set the position to fixed so that it will always be at a fixed position and we'll set the top position to 0 and the left position to 0 and we'll also set the width to 100% and uh, let's go back and now we can see we have this video and it has a width of 100% of the screen and everything is looking alright now the next thing we will do is we will add the video overlay so if you go back to our original design we can see that we have this dark overlay over this video so if you go back to the HTML file here we can see we have created this division with the class of BG overlay so let's style this here I'll just type main container bg overlay and even for this we will set a position of fixed and we'll set the top position to zero and uh, the left position to zero and we'll set the height to 100 viewport height and the width to 100 percent and uh, let's set a background color of black and here we will add an opacity so I'll just type opacity and let's set it to 0 0.8 let's go back and now we can see we have this dark overlay over this video right now let's style the other elements in our website right now the next thing we will do is style this nav bar so let's go back to our html file and uh, here we can see we have this nav element so let's style this so it is inside the main container division so here i'll just type main container nav and we'll set a position of fixed so that it will always stay at the same position and uh, we will set the top value to zero and the left value to zero and the right value to zero so that it will be in the center 
and we will set a max width of 1000 pixels. Let's also set the display to flex and uh, align items to the center and justify content to space between so that we have some space between the elements. And here we can see we have the logo and the menu items displayed over here. We'll also bring it to the center. So I just type margin zero for top and bottom and auto for left and right. All right, let's add a background color and uh, let's see what is the width and the height. And uh, we will add some padding as well. So let's type padding and we'll set the padding to 24 pixels top and bottom and uh, 32 pixels left and right. All right, now let's style the logo. So the logo is inside this logo division and in that we have this anchor tag. So here I'll just type main container nav logo A and uh, let's remove the underline by typing text decoration to none and we'll set the color of the text to white and uh, we'll set the font size to 24 pixels and we'll set the font family to Roboto sans serif and here we can see we have the logo styled let's also remove the background color we'll just remove the font family line from here and uh, we will add it to the main container so that we have the font family in all the elements so here I'll just type main container and uh, let's type font family or let's paste it over here right now we have the font family roboto in all the elements right now let's style this unordered list so if you go back to our html here we can see we have this ul inside this nav so let's style this so here I'll just type main container nav ul and the first thing we need to do is we need to place all these elements one next to the other so for that let's set the display to flex and we will have a gap of 40 pixels between each of the elements and uh, we will also remove the bullets so let's type list style and set it to none and we'll also remove the default margin and padding of the unordered list so i'll just type padding zero and margin zero right now let's style the anchor tags so let's type main container nav ula and uh, first of all let's remove the underlines so let's type text decoration and set it to none and let's also set the color of the text to white and we'll set the font size to 15 pixels and we'll set the text transform to uppercase all right now the next thing we will do is style these elements over here so these are inside a header so if you scroll down here we can see we have this header and uh, we have this class of hero section and in that we have this h1 the paragraph and the button so let's style this header so here i'll just type main container hero section and right now we cannot see the hero section over here because it is below this video so what we have to do is we have to set a z index of some lower value for this video and we have to set a higher z index for these elements over here so here for the hero section i'll just type z index and uh, let's set the z index to let's say two and uh, for the video which is uh, this selector over here here i'll just type z index of zero and we cannot see the hero section yet so that's because we have added a position of fixed over here and for the other element also we need to add some position so let's set a position of relative and now we can see that the hero section is displayed over here let's bring it to the center so i'll just select the container division which is the main container division so here i'll just type height of 100 viewport height and width of 100 percent and we will also add a max width of 1000 pixels and uh, let's set a display of flex and align items to the center and now here we can see all the elements are in the center we'll also bring the main container to the center so here i'll just type margin zero for top and bottom and auto for left and right and uh, let's also add a padding of 32 pixels and now we can see we have the elements in the correct position right now let's set the color of all the text to white right now the next thing we will do is we will add a backup color so here if we go ahead and uh, provide an incorrect value over here if we go back now we can see that the video is not being displayed so when we don't have the video we need to have a dark color over here as the background so let's go back and uh, let's go to the body and here we will add a background color of black by default and now we can see it looks all right so let's go back and uh, let's 
enter the correct URL over here. And now we have the video over here. All right now the next thing we will do is style the H1. So for the H1 we need to have a different font. So let's go back and uh, let's add the styles over here. So the H1 is inside the main container in that we have this hero section and in that we have the H1. So let's type main container hero section H1 and we'll set the font family to Sacramento and cursive and we'll also set the font size to 90 pixels. So this is our heading. Now the next thing we will do is style the paragraph. So we have this P tag over here inside the hero section. So here I'll just type main container hero section P and uh, we will set a font size of 20 pixels and for the heading we will just remove the margin. So here for the H1 I'll just type margin 0 and uh, let's also add some negative margin to this paragraph so that it is at the top over here. So for the paragraph I'll just type margin top and let's set it to negative 24 pixels and I think that looks all right. Right now let's style the button. So for the button we have this uh, red background color. So we have this anchor tag as the button. So if we go back to our HTML file here we can see we have this anchor tag with the class of btn. So let's style that. So here let's type main container hero section a.btn. First of all let's set the display to inline block so that the margin and the padding and all of those things are applied correctly because anchor tags are by default inline. All right, the next thing we will do is remove the underlines. So I'll just tap text decoration to none. And uh, let's set the color of the text to white. And uh, let's set the background color to D62828. And uh, let's also add some padding. We will add a padding of 10 pixels top and bottom and 32 pixels left and right. And uh, let's also add some border left over here so let's type border left and uh, we'll set it to 8 pixels solid f1 f a e e and we'll also set the font size to 16 pixels and uh, let's set the text transform to uppercase all right that's it with the button now the next thing we will style are these social media icons so let's go back and uh, in the html here we can see we have this division with the class of social. So let's target that. So here let's type main container social. Now we'll position this social division relative to the main container. So for the main container, I just have to set a position of relative. So here let's type position relative. And now let's scroll down. And uh, here for the social, I'll just type position absolute. And I'll just set the bottom position to 60 pixels and uh, the left position to zero and uh, we'll also add a padding of 32 pixels and uh, let's go back to our design and here we can see we have the social media icons in the correct position now let's style these anchor tags so if you go back to our html here we can see inside the social division we have these anchor tags and in that we have the icons now here in place of this hash you can just add the links of your social media accounts all right let's style these anchor tags so here i'll just type main container social a and the first thing we will do is we will remove the underlines. So I'll just type text decoration and set it to none. And we'll set the color of the anchor tags to white. And let's set the font size to 30 pixels. And we'll also add a margin of zero for top and bottom and 16 pixels for left and right. And here we can see we have all the icons displayed over here. We'll just remove the margin left from the first icon. So here we have to type main container social a colon first child this will select the first instance of the anchor tags so here i'll just tap margin left of zero and now we can see everything looks all right all right so that's basically it with the design of the desktop version and everything looks all right now in the next video we will start with the design of the mobile version so if we decrease the width of the screen this is how the mobile version looks and we also have this menu button over here and if i click on that we have these mobile menu items displayed over here and if I click on this close button it goes back and we also need to add horror effect for this button and also these menu items over here and uh, when we reload this page so let's click on reload and here we can see we have these animations for all these elements so these are all the things we're going to do in uh, the next series of videos 
So that's it for this video. If you have any doubts, you can ask in the comments below. And if you like this video, please click on the like button and subscribe to this channel to get the latest video updates. Thanks a lot for watching. Have a nice day.